Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about uniform and non-uniform acceleration. So before going to the topic, uh, let us brush up our knowledge about acceleration, whatever we have already learned. So we have learned that the, uh, the change in velocity per unit time is called the acceleration. And acceleration is a vector quantity since it depends upon another vector quantity which is velocity and thus acceleration has a magnitude as well as a direction. Now acceleration is mathematically given by this formula which is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by the time taken which is abbreviated as a equals v minus u by t where a is the acceleration v is the final velocity u is the initial velocity and t is the time interval and the SI unit of acceleration we have already calculated it to be meters per second squared. Now with this knowledge let us move on to a situation here. Now let's say there is a straight road and a car starts uh, and a car uh, starts from here. Let's say at point A the velocity of the car was 10 meters per second and by the time it reaches point B after 15 seconds its velocity becomes 20 meters per second let's say and again after 15 seconds at point C let's say its velocity was 30 meters per second and at point D that is after 15 more seconds its velocity became 40 meters per second. Now we notice here that the velocity of the car increases by equal amounts that is 10 meters per second in every 15 seconds or we can say that the velocity increases by equal amounts in equal intervals of time. Now such a motion when it is made wherever there is an increase in velocity in equal amounts in equal intervals of time we call such a motion to be associated with a uniform acceleration. Now whenever we go for calculating the acceleration in all these cases, we find their accelerations to be the same which is 0.66 meters per second square and thus this motion of a car is said to be uniform acceleration. Now we define uniform acceleration as a body is said to be uniformly accelerating when its velocity increases or decreases by equal amounts in equal intervals of time. So it is, um, it is like saying that whenever a velocity increases by equal amounts or decreases by equal amounts in equal intervals of time, we say that a body is uniformly accelerating. Now let us look at some examples of uniformly accelerated motions. Now when a ball is dropped from the top of a building, this motion is said to be a free fall or we can say a freely falling body. Now this body or this ball is attracted towards ground with a force of gravity and we all know that. And this, uh, this motion is accompanied with a velocity and also a constant acceleration which is 9.8 meters per second square. And this acceleration um, is said to be the acceleration due to gravity which is constant for any body which is moving from up to down to the ground with the force of gravity. Now another example could be a uh, motion of these balls and discs from an inclined top of an inclined plane to the ground and this kind of motion is also uh, said to be a uniform acceleration. Now let us look at another situation which is uh, the pretty same but it's uh, with a difference that is let's say the car has a velocity of 10 meters per second at point A and after 15 seconds let's say its velocity becomes uh, 25 meters per second at point B and at point C where it reaches after 15 more seconds and when we measure its velocity there, it turns out to be 37 meters per second. And at point D, where it reaches after 15 more seconds, that is at the end of 45 seconds, 
its velocity was measured to be 55 meters per second. In this case, we see that the velocity is increasing, but it is not increasing by equal amounts. It is increasing by unequal amounts in equal intervals of time. So such kind of motion is associated with non-uniform acceleration. Now when we go for calculating the acceleration in all these three cases, we find their values to be different in all these three cases. And thus this motion is said to be non-uniformly accelerated motion. So we define non-uniform acceleration as a body is said to be non-uniformly accelerating when its velocity increases or decreases by unequal amounts in equal intervals of time. So this was all about uniform and non-uniform acceleration and I hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.